Staff realizes Janitor has never had a party, surprises her, and realizes why. The children adored Bell Elementary School's janitor. Frances Buzzard was serious about her job and went the extra mile to help students by tutoring them whenever she had the chance. The 77-year-old enjoyed spending time with the children because their excited energy rubbed off on her. One day, the principal had an idea that had her looking into Frances' past. She didn't like that she did it, but the plan wouldn't work without it. The principal started executing the plan and had all 200 students sit in the assembly hall. They needed to be there for it to work. The plan required witnesses. The hall was utterly silent, none of the children uttering a word. The principal was filled with excited anticipation, watching the plan unfold, and eventually used the loudspeaker to call for Francis. Francis was busy doing her usual daily tasks of scrubbing the kitchen and polishing the floors when she heard her name coming through the loudspeaker. The voice told her to go to the assembly hall, and Francis wondered if there was a mess she needed to clean up. She couldn't shake the feeling that something about the situation was fishy. Her mind raced with scenarios, each making her feel more queasy. Francis spotted the time slots on the assembly hall door and saw that an assembly was currently in session. She dreaded to think how many eyes would be on her if she stepped through that door. The hall was usually flooded with kids this time of day. She felt nauseous thinking about how she would have an audience watching as she was reprimanded. Her mind was racing as she readied herself to open the door. Had one of the pupils complained about her? Was she being faced with retirement? Was she being fired? Her heart sank at the thought. No matter how many scenarios filled her head, she couldn't think of what the answer truly was. Why had she been called to appear in front of the entire school? Bracing for the worst, Francis was ready to be berated. Then, the children started to sing Happy Birthday in unison. Francis was dumbstruck. Her birthday wasn't for another week. And how had they even known her birthday? She hadn't made a point of telling anyone. In fact, she was not used to celebrating her birthday at all. It turned out that the surprise birthday party had been the student's idea, and the principal was happy to oblige. Francis had been a loyal and hard-working employee of the school for so long that it was only fitting that they celebrated her life. The school's principal had found out about Francis' big secret. She had never had a birthday party in her life. This saddened her greatly, and she knew immediately that she had to take action to make things right. So she put her plan into action, ordering personalized cupcakes and even assisting the schoolchildren in creating a special slideshow in honor of Francis. With Francis now seated, the slideshow began. There were photographs of historical moments in history, such as the moon landing and Woodstock, and Francis had been photoshopped into the scenes. It was the perfect commemoration of her life and a compliment on her 77 years on the planet. When Frances saw it, her eyes filled with tears of joy at the message and the effort that the students had made. Frances had never had a birthday party because her parents had been poor when she was growing up and they simply couldn't afford it. I don't remember any. They didn't do things like that. Imagine going through 77 years and never knowing the joy of being celebrated on your birthday. Frances had never made a big deal or a fuss about the date. She was brought up to be grateful for what she had. Her parents had never been able to afford birthday gifts, cake, or any of the things most of us take for granted. So, this lady is twice our age, but she does three times the work. She's something else. Everybody just loves her. You can't get her to stop, school counselor Chalena McCoy told the Charleston Gazette Mail in an interview. Frances was so well-loved by pupils and staff that they knew they had to do something to celebrate her. Frances was filled with gratitude at having her first-ever birthday party at age 77. She really was the center of attention that day, and it's one that she'll remember forever. It is extremely important to show appreciation to the people in your life, and kindness does everybody a world of good. Frances' surprise birthday celebration was televised by the Charleston Gazette Mail, and the story gained a lot of traction online. From there, it was shared thousands of times on social media sites. Soon, people from all over the world were joining in to send her wishes. Absolutely beautiful. That smile was so full of joy. 
it's obvious that she touched the lives of so many. What a perfect surprise. Happy birthday, Miss Francis, one Facebook user wrote. Hayes had always given the students of the school special attention, which is why he is considered the most loved person at the school. That's also why the students decided to come together to arrange a special surprise for their janitor's 80th birthday. Hayes was astounded to see more than 800 students waiting to greet him that morning. All of them started chanting his name as soon as he stepped inside the school. Then, the students began to throng around him, handing him birthday cards, singing happy birthday, and holding up banners for his special day. Hayes was completely overwhelmed by the students. He was handed so many birthday cards that a few of the youngsters had to follow him with a bucket to collect them all as he made his way through the hallways. Hayes was so grateful for the special treatment that he hugged each and every student and took extra time to read each and every card he received. Pike Elementary School also took photos of the janitor's special day, which were shared on their social media page. Just like Francis' story, Hayes' reaction to his birthday surprise spread like wildfire. Soon, the pictures had been shared hundreds of times across social media channels. People everywhere were touched to see such an act of kindness, and it's not hard to see why. While keeping abreast of current events is a way to stay informed, negative news about disasters, suffering, war, and economic crises actually changes our perception of the world. People exposed to more negative news suffer from higher levels of anxiety and depression. Instead of consuming a constant stream of negative news, people should try to balance their sources with positive media outlets and stories.